Right here what we have is we have our cedar fence line. It's coming straight, but now we want to turn and go that way. How do we frame that up? Hey, by the way, uh, it's a little windy out. Our studio is not cooperating with us today. Somebody forgot to uh, turn the fan off. So we're really hoping that the sound quality is turning out great. So just bear with us, please. So what, how did we decide where this post should go? How did we decide what we should line up with as far as coming off of this post? So if you take the back side of this post and line it up, with this flange right here, that's how I determine my corner. So this our our two by four is gonna sit in this flange. It's not gonna, it's gonna come on the back side of that flange. So this wall right here is gonna act as our corner going this way, coming to me. So right there, coming straight across the back side of this post. So when I drove this post on the ground, that's what I was looking at. I was looking at that corner. You can eyesight that or you can use a string. So we have cut one cedar two by four is we're going to screw into the back side of this post being the corner post. We're going to make sure that the back side of this cedar two, cedar, we're going to make sure that the back side English is not a strong suit for me. I learned half of it and I just make up the other half. We're uh, going to make sure that the back side of this cedar two by four goes right in line with that wall of the post. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna screw it in. If you watched any of the other videos, I'm sure you know what kind of a fastener we're gonna use to screw it in with. But if you don't know, cedar has a thing in it called tannic acid. So tannic acid can react with other fasteners causing those black streaks down the cedar fence. So if you don't use a stainless steel fastener, you're gonna have those black streaks. The only way to prevent those black streaks is to go with a stainless steel fastener which is what we have right here. If you're looking for some and you're like, man, where, I can't find them anywhere. Or you just don't wanna look, make sure and see the link below. Guess what, we can ship them right to your doorstep. So you don't even have to move. So now we are going to go, and we put one screw in there. And we're gonna guess on our height, which is right there. We're gonna put one screw this way. Ultimately, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're putting that cedar 2x4 where it needs to go on your post. My post is just a little bit tall because I was driving it in the ground and I hit a rock. It's about six inches taller than it needs to be, but I don't want to cut it because I don't want to throw the post away because I can use it for another video. So we have our top one set with just a screw on each side. Now we're going to go ahead and set our middle and we're going to go ahead and set our bottom. Again, I have this lined up and... I got one in it. And those little tick marks on the posts are on both sides. No, they're not, they're on the other side. But anyways, yeah, there was a tick mark They're every six inches. So now I am going to go ahead and measure from the top of this rail to the top of this rail to figure out where our spacing needs to be. 24 and a half. What do you know? It's right at the, it's right at the tick mark. We're gonna lift up to that mark. So now we now have two of our three rails set. We're gonna go ahead and set our bottom. We're gonna do the exact same thing again. We're gonna go right into the end drain. Just double check our spacing, 24 and a half. Each end of the rail, wherever you fasten to, should get a minimum of two screws. So we're gonna do one more on each end. And if you guys, if you're building this and you're doing a corner and you don't think that an inch and five eighths screw is sufficient for your corner. We offer three inch too. So now we have our corner framed in. You're probably looking at this by now like, wait a second, that's horizontal cedar and he's framing it up to do vertical standard cedar. If we were to do the corner in, in horizontal cedar, all we would need is this right here, and this is our nailer piece. We would then carry our pickets right across. But since I'm setting up for a vertical cedar, we still need this. And the reason that we need this piece is because this is how we're gonna wrap our, our corner with our face picket. So regardless of what type of fence you're gonna use, whether you're gonna use your Postmasters for a horizontal cedar fence or for a vertical cedar privacy fence, you still need this filler piece right here. 
Also, one key thing to keep in mind, your two by fours need to be set to the same as your rough cedar corner right here. Okay. That wasn't necessary. That was like, dude, that was like $2.50 right there. Then. Just ouch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our nailer piece in. Let's just say that we're gonna put in three screws. This helps us with covering our outside corner. Oh, dude, I could have totally. I didn't even think about that. I could have just totally used that. We're still gonna use it. All right, so we put our nailer strip in here, and what this does is this brings us to the same plane as the horizontal cedar. Why is that important, you ask? Well, because this thing right here is kind of uh, ugly. It doesn't matter what we're doing or what application or what fence style we are using the Postmaster for, but you still need to cover it because that's the whole point of it is nobody wants to see it and it's the yeah. In this video of showing you how to do corners is also showing you how to cover it and trim it out. So we have this face picket, which is gonna go on just like so, or we have our cedar picket, this is the start of our corner of our vertical flat top cedar five foot the start of our five foot tall flat top privacy cedar fence boom there you go set it but we're going to go ahead and put this one on first and the only reason we're going to do this one first is because we want to cover all the nails of our uh, horizontal cedar fence so that's the deciding factor of why we're starting with this one first when you're putting your trim pickets on if you're doing a horizontal cedar fence don't put thousands of nails in it the object is, is to cover all the nails and to make it a trim piece, not to make it look like Swiss cheese. So now that we have this side of the horizontal cedar all done and all pretty fied, we have our two by fours in, screwed in place. For our corner, we can continue on. And then our fence would continue on and on and on. But this isn't a video about building fence, it's about building corners. Originally we used this right here uh, as a demo of how to build a horizontal cedar gate. So that's the only reason that these two two by fours are there. So no, you don't need to put these little special blocks in there. It was only for a gate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this one in just like this. And the reason I'm gonna start with this one, I can't screw it from here to there. So when I put when I put this one in place, this one is actually gonna hold that corner of the picket in place. It's gonna act as its anchor and it's gonna pinch it in that corner so it can't ever do anything. So I'm gonna take this one, hold it in place. Hopefully you can see. And we have just, we've got about three quarters of an inch of two by four right there, and we're gonna screw into that two by four. So we got three screws in that. You can still see that post just a little bit. It's almost gone. Oh, now it's gone. And there you have it, how you do that. Now, one other way that you can do that, if you had some serious mad skills, is you can also take the two pickets like this, rip one in half, and then you can screw them together on the backside so it's all one, and you can use that as your corner piece. That's just how simple it is to do corners with Postmaster Post. So this is just a recap of the entire process now that everything's done. So right here, we have the Postmaster Post. That's the star of the show. Right here, we have a nailer. We attach that to the Postmaster Post, but before we did that one, we attached the top rail. This is the top rail of the vertical cedar fence. That's another nailer of the horizontal cedar fence. This right here is just a spacer to get everything on the same plane. This is a trim picket for the horizontal cedar fence. This is the trim picket or the start of our vertical five foot tall flat top 
privacy cedar fence. And right here we have our two inside trim pickets to hide the inside of our Postmaster post. So right here we did an outside right hand corner. Now if you were to do an outside left hand corner and if we were supposed to go that way, all the same rules apply. The only thing is we should have put these cedar stringers on that side. You're still gonna toenail in from that side and then you're gonna do your cover picket right here and then right here. All the same rules apply. Just do the reverse of everything that I just did right here. And that's, that's it. That's how easy corners are with Postmaster Post. In case you missed the video on how to build horizontal cedar fence, make sure and catch that video right here. And we walk you through how to build five foot tall horizontal cedar fence. And see this video if you wanna see how we build our standard six foot dog ear cedar privacy fence. Don't forget, for all of your fencing needs, make sure and check out our website, the link is below. We are Wyoming's Fence Company and we hope you have a good dang day.